Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will tell you more about senior software engineer job search. And there is gonna be more content coming on software engineering job search tips and tips in general. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel down below and please stay tuned. There is something super exciting that me and my two friends have been working on for the past two months. We have put together a full on course about senior software engineering job search, and it actually is completely applicable even if you're not at that stage in your career yet. The course is completely, completely free of charge. We just wanted to share valuable information that all of us have and hope that you, our community, can benefit from it. If you guys want to check out the course, please go to jobsearch.dev. There is a ton of valuable information and resources there. Again, it's completely free. And I really hope that you enjoy this material and this course. And in this video today, I will give you an overview of what a senior software engineering job search looks like. And again, that is applicable to any other role, even if you're not senior in your career yet. So in general, if you're looking for a senior software engineering role, we would recommend you would spend three months in this process. First of all, you need to really think about why is it that you're looking for a um, role switch? Why did you join your previous company in the first place? What did you learn there? What are you excited about? Is there anything that you're proud about that you worked on there? Why is it that you want to get this new role? And in general, you know, job search is something that people are usually scared about and they feel uncomfortable about and you know you just have to study a lot and try to pitch yourself and sell your experience but in reality you need to make that mind switch when you're looking for a new role you are actually leveling up your career you are leveling up your compensation you're building that community that's going to help you to look for that perfect next role once you make that mind switch things are just going to change you need to own it you need to really own and be positive about, you know, why is it that you worked at that previous company, that previous job? Why is it that you're excited about your new role? Why is it that you want to learn all these new things? And what are the things that you're excited about and that you want to learn? So that is extremely, extremely important. Your mindset and your attitude towards this new stage in your life. And in general, of course, you need to put a short list of companies that you're most excited about so that you can focus a lot of energy and attention about that narrative of why you want to work there. Besides being positive and having this own it mindset, you also need to treat your job search as a game. And you need to make sure that you're given the right signal to the committee that's evaluating you throughout this job search. So in general, once you start applying to companies, there is a recruiter phone screen if your resume gets picked out. Then when you pass that recruiter phone screen, there is a technical screen that usually is also done online. And only after you pass those two stages, you're invited on-site to the company. And on-site is usually a very vigorous process with both the technical component of life coding, as well as an architecture systems in interview as well as experience interview. So once you invite it to on-site, then you know you got it, you're really being evaluated and then after that you wait to see whether you got the offer. And throughout this whole interviewing stage, you're always giving signal to the committee, to the people that you're being interviewed by. You need to, you know, really tell your story, really tell it again from the positive side. Of course, you want to be yourself because you want to work in a workplace where you're accepted as, you know, yourself. You don't need to pretend to be any anyone else. But at the same time, storytelling and having that narrative about why you're excited about the workplace that you're applying to is extremely important. In the coding 
Evaluating section, people are evaluating how you think. They're evaluating, are you fast on your feet? Did you think about the edge cases? How do you think about solving a problem in general? How do you communicate? Communication is extremely important. You know, you're gonna be working in a team most likely, you need to be a good communicator. So you're giving off that signal. And then in systems interviews, you are being evaluated on how you think about scalability, how you think about building systems, again, how you think about different edge cases, how you think about approaching the problem, do you ask the right questions, and then, um, of course, you're also being evaluated on the experience that you've had as a senior software engineer. So you need to really think about all these different key components and really own that story and make sure that you're giving off the right impressions. And with respect to experience, you know, really talk about the projects that you've worked on, why you've worked on them, what kind of difficult solutions you had to make and why you made these trade-offs when you were building the things that that you were working on in your previous workplace. All of that is given off signal to, again, the interviewing committee, which is extremely important. So you need to own it, you need to stay focused, you need to stay positive, you need to stay prepared, and you really need to know and internalize why is it that you're looking for this specific job at a, this specific company, and what you want to learn, and what are the things that you're proud of that you've already worked on. And of course, when you're at the stage, when you're ready to interview and start applying to companies, and you know you reached out to your community to see if anyone can refer you, if anyone has any tips, if they can tell you about the workplace that they work at that you're potentially excited about. You need to also really think about your resume and showcasing the right skills, showcasing the right experience, having the right language on your resume. I have um, a video about resume tips that you can check out uh, in the link that I post down below. So I give a little more details about how to think about your resume, but to summarize it, in general, you don't want your resume to be more than one page. And the rule is usually for every 10 years of experience, you add a page of your resume. So if you don't have 10 years of experience, then one page is sufficient. And then besides that, of course, you, as I said, want to showcase the relevant experience and you need to make sure that you really sell yourself in that resume. Because the rule is that a recruiter doesn't usually spend more than three seconds looking at a resume. So imagine, I just look at it, one, two, three, did I find any relevant material, relevant keywords, relevant experience, done. So that is a super important component. And coming back to the timeline, three months to look for a job might sound to you like a long time, so let me explain to you a little more why it is three months. So you should definitely spend one week just thinking about what is it that you want your narrative, as I said, and also putting together a list of companies that you're extremely excited about. Then the next two weeks, you should spend actually applying and start studying for technical interview screens and just in general, continue thinking more about that narrative and crafting it towards the companies that you're applying to and resume, of course. And then three next week, you will continue spending on studying for technical screens and on-site coding interviews, as well as starting to prep for that system design interview. And also, of course, continue doing your recruiter screens and technical on-site. Then we would recommend spending three next weeks actually scheduling on-site. So you see that you really want to bucket everything together so that you're really methodological in the way you approach this problem or exciting problem of finding a new job. So that's why you want to have all your on-sites around the same time. And of course you continue prepping, you continue studying. And then finally you have three weeks to wrap up, get the offers, you know, offers are not gonna come to you immediately right after you interview. There is probably gonna be some time that the company needs to discuss internally how you performed, whether they want you uh, to be a part of the team or not. So three weeks in total for that. And once you get the offers within those three weeks, you also start thinking about where you want to go next. Do you want to negotiate your salary? Shortlisting, you know, all the offers that you got and really making the decision. And of course, reaching out and leveraging your community to help you and elevate you to make that right decision. So that's the reason why it is three months. And again, 
jobsearch.dev completely free course has all this material that I just summarized you guys for free in more detail. It's extremely valuable. I do strongly believe that we put our best foot forward and shared a lot of valuable information for you. Again, if you're not in that stage of your career, if you're not looking for a senior software engineering job yet, I would say the course is extremely valuable for even if you're looking for an internship because all these concepts are really transferable to different stages in your career. All of them are true throughout. Of course, systems design interviewer that experience interview is something that you're not going to have if you're looking for a junior developer job or an internship but overall as I said it's still very applicable and again of course if you want to find more in detail of how to study for that algorithms coding interview how to study for the systems interview what does that even mean and what experience interviews like and how you should think about it don't forget to check out our completely free course jobsearch.dev you can enroll completely free of charge into the course and i think there is a ton of valuable information that you will find there and please give us feedback on it too comment down below please to also let me know what is that one thing that you really struggle with with respect to looking for a job as a developer that would be extremely useful i always read my comments if you're just at the start of your uh, software engineering journey and you're still figuring out how to learn to code you can go to life of new uba.com slash code to download my free PDF where I put together uh, courses in the right sequence and the projects that you can work on to just get you started. There is going to be, of course, more videos on Life of Luba channel about tech, about different tips, life in Silicon Valley, uh, all the stuff that I know you guys like. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, if it was useful to you, don't forget to give it a like also and i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day i hope you have a wonderful week and bye for now <laughs>